What's up everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to day number 17 of the 30 days of Christmas poker. This marathon is over halfway. We've done a lot of work. We've been so close to some big scores, but I think today's the day. It's big bounty day on PokerStars, you guys. I am very excited. Let's see what we got. Let's see, we'd call a shove now from any of these three opponents, any of the blinds. Montrenu 60 is gonna shove. Or 16 big blinds. It's like, yeah, okay, we called, you know. Ace Jack, we're a little bit sick about it. Ace 10, I think we fold. We're up against eights. Okay, just a diamond, ace, or queen. That's an ace. 14,000 there. We're gonna go all in with the Ace King and the 215. Big sweat. Big sweat. Ace King against fives. Get there. That's a good flop. Holds. Let's go. 6,500. Double up. Winning some flips this month, guys. Winning some flips, and it feels good, man. And we pick up the King Queen suited. We'll hunt this deck or this deck if they decide to put chips in here. We see a shove. Here it is. $150 bounty on the line. $150 bounty. King Queen against Jack 10. Hold. For $150, hold it. Holds. No, it's a 10 on the river. It's a 10 on the river, you guys. All right, Jax, we're obviously going to be uh, getting this hand in there. Goes a raise call squeeze from the button. And Mishanya is thinking. And it's just going to cold call. All right, we're behind now. Behind or hopefully against Ace King, Ace King. But wow, we're not behind. Holds. Oh, no, man, no. How are we not behind there? How are we not behind there? Okay, we'll open. If the big blind goes all in, we'll have to call with bounties. And we have a flip for the bounty. Jack or eight. Jack or eight. Not today, they say. Not today. I understand. It's okay. Can't win every time. Queen eight of hearts. Yep. We'll open it up. Gah, we got to call the shorty again. Given our price. Queen eight against King Jack. We had 38%. We had a queen or an eight. <sighs> okay. Shorties are taking us out right now. Ooh, we have kings in the 1650. Nice. Nice moves. All right, and 11.25 is on the line with our kings. Can we hold it, though? We do need to win the hands against the ace-7. They have about 32% against our kings, you guys. Pretty good odds. Top set, we'll get it done, though. We will take that. We'll take the money. We'll take the chips. 42,000. I wonder if Siri can do math. Oh, that'd be cool. What's $5.81 plus $13.22? The answer is about 19.03 Canadian dollars. The absolute dream. Hey, Siri. You're a boss! Thank you for doing math. If you're hanging out with friends and they wanted to play poker, would you be down? Here's what I found on the web for what it if you're hanging out with friends and I want to play poker, would you be dumb? Have a look. Alright, enough of you. Enough of you. I'm uh, gonna reach out the East 10 suited. We are 42 away from the money, but it's not uh, not enough of a consideration. I think our East 10 suited is doing well. Against the fives. We have a flip. Come on! Come on, P-Star, yes! Mm, we go! An opponent is all in for three big blinds. It's a $36 bounty, which is worth more than the min-cash. And if we lose, we wouldn't be busted. So we have to hunt. And Boosh is going to call, and it folds. All right. Just need an eight, jack or 10. All right, we are going to bubble. <laughs> on 335th, you guys, 1126 is what we earn. Eights! Oh my god, are we gonna bubble again? Seven away from the money, we're all in. We get a shorter stack call us, which means even if we lose here, we can probably make our way into the money by being a super net. But let's just win instead. That'd be better. Eights against ace eight, we're in a good spot. Can we hold though? 14 4. 14 4. Yes! Yo, I'm folding ace four because I think the edge we have is reasonable and somewhat significant. But then again, we're two away from the money, and I think that pay jump is worth a decent amount. So I'm just folding. I guess I could wait till we're on the bubble and shove. That's maybe a better play. All right, I guess I'll shove now that we're on the bubble. Because we have to shove, get called, lose, and be the shortest stack to bust to not get paid. All right, we have a sweat. We have a sweat. We bubble, oh no, I think we cash. I think we cash. Boom, we got it, 86.31. All right, you guys, that counts as a cash. We're gonna add it to the board, but uh, you know, we didn't even get to here. Boom! We don't really have too many deep run situations yet. What's going on in my mind right now? Because you will find these times, when you're playing online poker, you will find these sorts of days where we bust all of our runs in the morning. Ooh, 
little plow, little plow action going on. You bust all your runs in the morning and then you just have like very deep stacks. You know, a little bit card dead, just fold here and like, you know, probably fold here as well. I think it's just cool to take a step back, breathe a little bit and just uh, try and take it as it comes. Not get ahead, not dwell on the past. And I think in the past, I would get a little bit, a little bit of both of those going on, to be honest, guys. I think that's probably a mental leak that I've had at some point. When you have a bricky morning, just like wanting to shut down, feeling like, ah, oh, I haven't had any deep runs yet. Do I really have to play for another like three hours to get into an exciting spot here? And the answer is yes. <laughs> but what happened this morning doesn't have any relevance on what happens in the future. So it's just like kind of, kind of chill. We're going to fold this three ways. We're going to call, take it to the streets. Two pair is pretty nice. We're going to reshove in the progressive. This could be for a bounty though. Jack 10, King 3. Oh. <laughs> Mmm, mmm, that's not ideal, for sure. <laughs> Definitely was not my favorite run-up in the world. Ace-4 against 7-10, all in. That's a pretty good start. That's a great turn, okay. We're up to 5k once again in the big 22. Ace-Queen against 5 is for a bounty, you guys. This is not in the pack, but just, you know, for the dreams, anyways. Full house is good. Boom. Kapow. Got him. <laughs> Let's go over to the Ace Queen and the 109 Bounty. That's a very good flop with this Ace Queen. We're gonna start with a call though. I'm not really afraid of too many turns. Like a King, a Jack of Ten are all whatever, you know? But it's really hard for us to have any bluffs if we put in raising action now. So I just call. The turn is a five. Call again. And that's not a good river for them to bluff. Obviously we call. And we obviously win. There we go. Call down here in the bounty builder for a bounty, and it's a big one, you guys. Very big bounty here. Can we hold it? This is for the salmon. Let's put it in the salmon felt. Open and a shove for 2250 and a call. They're arguing here, so I think I'm going to reshove. These two are arguing back and forth, so I think they're going to have a wider range than normal. Fortunately, uh, we see a jack. There's the queen. Double KO. Oh no, never mind. Sevens. But we get 565. Up to $30, and I think we lose a few chips, but nothing too crazy. Let's go up to the 109, though. This is the feature spot. Big moment. Let's go, you guys. Kings against Ace Queen. Can we hold for a bounty? For a bounty, we got him. $75 bounty. $37.50 coming our way. And we pick up the chips, of course. Making a deep run in the boot. Let's go, let's go. All in with the Kings here. The $22.50 bounty. And probably a $7.50 bounty as well. Queens tens. It's a set. Holds! Alright! Double boot! Booty King! The booty hunt is on! Let's go, Chet. Get a call from Sikone, who is playing very passively so far. They can have some slow plays, and I think better players, like uh, really good players, are gonna have a decent amount of slow plays here, but I think uh, this is better. Pretty clear go for this against Romo Pro. So we're gonna reshove our nines here against Jax, okay? That's a set! Oh, we get lucky! Oh, we get so lucky against the Romo Pro. Very good player. 56-25 coming our way. Damn, dude. Okay, Ace King. We are card rack in this tournament. An absolute card rack. Over to 500 and a call from the shorty. Pretty easy spot to squeeze it up here. I'm gonna make it on the bigger side because this opponent knows it's gonna be for a bounty. We get 2,500. Call. And a call. Queen 7 3. Betting into the side pot is a good idea. We are uncapped. Our opponent is a little bit more capped than us. Alright, we're heads up against the fours. Yeah, let's go. We got him on the river. The salmon felt in the 109 bounty, you guys. Woo! We got him. 37.50. We have earned 131 in the tournaments. We're in the profit. Over to the tens, we call the raise and we go this way to the flop. It's really dicey if this opponent decides to shove and then they reshove. Then it's like pretty, pretty sick. We are in a spot here. Hello Toddy, calling in the big blind, has the two pairs. They also have all the draws. They have like all of the draws. A pretty sick spot. Um, because this bounty, $154, is worth quite a lot here. Worth basically a full starting stack. So add like, uh, add like 10k to this pot. Oh god, we're actually doing not ideal against this too. Maybe I will fold. This is brutal, brutal spot. The side pot is pretty important too for equity. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm gonna call. Flush draw, flush draw. Alright. We win the side. Gain a few chips there. And we see a lead here. 
I am just going to raise, maybe shove actually. This is for another bounty. The shove will get called a decent amount when our hand looks like garbage. They have the flop straight. Okay, well, uh, we're gonna shove this blind versus blind, especially with the bounty in play. Call by King's hand, okay. We have 35% against that hand, but we do have a bounty jacket. Aya, uh, wow. We see a shove for 29 big blinds. We call here, you guys. Add 10,000 to pot, so it's 17k in the middle. We have to call 5k. We're basically getting 3.5 to 1 with the bounty. Um, if they have ace king, ace queen, which they definitely have in the range here, we're making a profitable call. They have 10s, unfortunately. Of course, they're going to have 9s, 10s, jacks, queens, kings, aces. Just because of the structure of the tournament, we got to rumble for it here. Folds to us. I'm going to click it open. Get shoved on, and I was kind of wondering what to do in this spot. 6,400 to win 9k, so we're getting 1.5 to 1. We require 42%, but it is a knockout. At the same time, if we lose here, we're going to lose the opportunity to win other knockouts too. Um, so it really depends on how wide they're going all in here. Like if they're doing this with ace x type hands, like all of them, then we certainly want to call. And I think that our opponent is probably going to be doing this with a hand like ace 3, just given the structure of the tournament. So I think we have to call here. But it's not very fun and not a call we'd make in a not bounty tournament. In the bounty tournament, we're going to give it a go. And we see the unfortunate part of the range that has us in pretty rough shape here. King at 10 suited here for 16 big blinds. We shove in the cutoff. And we call down here for the all-in. So we'll sweat this first. Ace 10 against Queen 3. No! King or Ace? Ace will do. King 10 against Ace 4, you guys, for 17k. And basically a flip that's a 10 hold. Alright, nice. We're up to 17k. Good stuff. Raise, we shove Ace Queen. We get a reshove here in a small blind. This is the 320 KO against the king and the king and they also have a diamond draw we need a off suit three damn daniel back at it again we're up to 13k that is a sick river card let's go up to the ace jack suited we will raise call a shove call a shove and sikun is playing super passive here i am going to reshove for value against this call wow do we have them covered no just short in the same hand free roll That is, uh, that one hurts. That one hurts, guys. So we do make uh, some money in the tournament, but unfortunately, we have busted in the 109 bounty. So GG us. We're on the bubble of being in the money here, so we're gonna add another cash to the board. $10 plus our bounties of 45 on one for 55. See so shove for five big ones, a call behind. We're gonna isolate, but we have queens here. Put a squeeze in with the queens. And we get a call on a call. We flop top set on this queen 6 3. I think it's reasonable to check back here. We probably check back with our ace king type ends. And we block them having a queen, right? So, two of spades. Now we definitely want to bet. Let's sweat this all in though for 24 37 bounty. Hold it! Yes. Bit of 1500. I think the plan is to call here. It's really tough to get paid by raising. They either have a flush now or they have a draw, basically. An ace on the river. We'll shove. Maybe we should bet less. Take it down. Okay. Oh, here we go. We have Ace King, we call. Against the fives, we have a flip. That's an Ace holds. For 154, hold it. Let's go, we got him. $154 cash money in our pocket. That is a very valuable bounty. And we have Ace Queen, oh my goodness. See an open from Terrell Pro. I'm wondering what the best line is here. I think probably shoving is best. Lissy is priced in in the big blind. So isolating this pot and getting them to fold pairs is gonna be best. So I shove 30 big blinds. Try and get that $154 bounty all to myself. 30 bigs. Do I do it with aces? Well, I will next time. Lissy folds and they have ace king. No. Hit the 10. Ah, yeah, you guys. We're out of the tournament. Twirl Pro is going to take our chips. That is the end of the dream for us. GG. If I could go back to the time, I'd still do the same thing, though. Pretty unlikely Twirl Pro has a better hand. Ace king, aces, kings, queens, of course, is possible. But they're going to be opening a very wide range with Crazy Lissy having 2.5 big blinds there. For the King Queen City, we get Snap Reshub behind. See how we're doing. And Isildur is going to play as well. Shows A6 and folds, okay. King Jack and 7s. We're not doing too bad here. King or Queen? That's neither of those things. All right. $20 plus the $60 or so we got in bounties. That one was not in the package for what it's worth. All right. $39.42. Locked up. Oh my goodness. Becky, look at those aces. If 
we get a shove here, this hand becomes very fun. We found a shove. Aces against sixes. Here we hold for 68k. Yes. We're going to open it up here to 6150. We're going to call against Jack 10 suited. All right. Can we hold it? Yes. Good stuff. Up to 142. A good pot for us. Now 26 of 137. Man up, dude. You sound like a grill. Do I? Do I sound like a grill? I don't give a shit if I sound like a grill, dude. I sound like me, and if that's a girl, then that's who I am. You feel me? Get out of Dodge with that macho BS, all right? I'm a strong, independent person. I don't need no masculinity. All in for 11 big blinds. We will reshove with our ace 10. Oh, I've got... I'm supposed to have like 10 nine suited, not queens. Open, okay, we are going to reshove the aqua. Reshove arena, we're in trouble. Okay, 6902. That was day 17 in the wraps, very close to that 100 caches. Maybe a shot to get it tomorrow if we put in a big long stream. We'll see, so. I'm gonna host someone else in the listing, um, but until tomorrow, see you guys later.